for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and this is day two of Zarko has sent me a huge amount of really awesome stuff, and I'm gonna make videos about it. So, today we're gonna be looking at some kits, some parts, some upgrade stuff for the Worker Harrier and the Worker Seagull. These are both fabulous blasters, but various things are obviously up to personal preference, and so these are some, some other options. Uh, we have uh, different mag releases, we have safety removers, we have a different grip if you're not a fan of the metal knuckle duster grip, and we have a different pump grip, and we have some replacement rail. Now the rail that comes with these is really nice, it's metal, but it runs the full length of the blaster. Um, and the blaster comes apart in the middle, and that means that in order to take it apart and to get to the spring, if you want to replace the internal spring, because it doesn't have an easy access on the back like a lot of newer blasters with buffer tubes do, not only do you have to take these two screws out, you also have to take at least two of the rail screws out, and then you have the whole rail sticking off there, and it's, it's just extra work. So what he has created are 3D printed rail that are separated at that center point. So that you don't have to take it apart, take it off, in order to take the blaster out. Now, that does arguably make the connection there potentially a little bit weaker, but I'm pretty sure these things being injection molded and weld screwed together, it's not gonna become floppy, but we will find out. Right? right, that's this one fully upgraded. We've got the rail replaced, so it's now split here. And while there is maybe a little more play, as a result, it's minuscule. I'd have to compare it to one that still has the metal, um, but it's not enough that it's gonna make any difference, I don't think. Um, I have replaced the grip, so we no longer have the knuckle duster grip on there. We have replaced the vertical foregrip with this shotgun vertical or horizontal style grip. We've replaced the original Mag release with this one that you can release with your finger. And uh, the safety it has been disabled. So it's got all of the various features. Some of these I'm gonna keep, some of them I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this grip for now, but I am gonna put the old uh, mag release and hand ca handle cap on because I really like thumb hole stocks. I will also keep the delete. The rail I'm not sure about. I will have to ponder that. All right, let's take a look at the Seagull. And the upgrades that I make to this one, I will be leaving on there because I do plan to eventually give this blaster away, though I will, of course, give whatever parts I take off to whoever gets it so they can swap it if they so desire. Train! And there we go. This one is now also updated. We again have a mag release that we can reach with our middle finger. We have the safety has been removed, and we have rail that allows for slightly easier disassembly. And like I said, this one I'm going to leave as it is here, though I will keep the original parts with it so that I can uh, pass those on to whoever ends up getting this blaster. <clears throat> Stay tuned for the next video where I'll be testing the B cars using these, because why not? I want to I want to blink with them. Thank you for watching.